Local matters here on News 12 The Bronx and from mold in her bathroom to rodents scampering throughout her apartment. A Bronx mother says that her home in the Edenwald houses is making her sick. She exclusively showed our Carmen Grant the numerous repairs that she says are not being fixed fast enough by NYCHA and that she now believes are leading to even more health problems. <coughs> Stephanie Cerruti has acute asthma. She takes a handful of medicine to treat her condition. I have my EpiPen. This is for my um, allergies. I have my albuterol inhaler for my asthma. For the past several weeks, Cerruti says her health has rapidly deteriorated, mainly because of a rodent problem in her closet. This is and droppings from the mice. She says a putrid smell emanating from behind this closed door is so bad that she keeps a candle burning close by to mask the disturbing odor. The exterminator came and he opened up the closet and when he opened up the closet he says that he can't deal with the smell. Saruti claims the worker placed a mouse trap down and gave her this piece of steel wool to plug up any rodent holes in her closet. Yes, for me to fix the situation myself. So this is something from NYCHA, a letter saying that you have mold in your apartment dating back to October. Has anything been done? No one has addressed the issue as of yet. News 12 was there when a housing worker came to the first floor apartment to close up a gap at the bottom of her front door, where she says mice squeeze their way through into her apartment. She claims all the numerous problems in her Edenwall unit has taken a toll on her already fragile health. I feel sick. I feel frustrated. I haven't been able to sleep. I've been missing work. It's just a very frustrating situation to live under these conditions. For the time being, Saruti says she's forced to stay at her mother's house until the necessary repairs are made to her apartment. In Edenwald, Carmen Grant, News 12. We did reach out to NYCHA for a response to this issue. We are still waiting to hear back.